Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Joining us this morning is our great friend, Nurse Laura Walker. Nurse Walker, thanks for being here. Thanks. Yeah, good to see you again. So July 4th is here, and as we know, injuries are sometimes just prone to happen when people don't really follow certain rules. What are some of the injuries that you guys see the most in the emergency room? So we love summer, and mm -hmm. um, it's a fun time to be outside, and we're doing stuff that we don't normally do all 12 months of the year. So we try and cram it all in in these yep. few months that we have. Yep. So um, we see a lot of different injuries, but probably the one I want to talk about right now is 4th of July coming up. Yeah. Because 4th of July, we'll see firework injuries. Mm. Uh, regardless how much we talk about it, it still seems like there's some injuries. Yeah. So just a couple things to think about. Mm -hmm. Sparklers, who everybody loves and seem yeah. like pretty benign. <laughs> We've all used them as kids. Do you know that they heat up to 2,000 degrees? No. So 2,000 degrees is a big number. Yeah. But 2,000 degrees equals um, metal melting. Oh. Cause, so be very careful with those. And when they're done, they're still hot. So maybe have a bucket of water by them so you can dip those in right away so kids aren't picking them up yeah. later and getting burned by yeah. them. Um, having someone with a hose to be mm. ready in case there's a problem with the fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, we all try to be careful, but sometimes things happen. So yeah. just being, if, if something's gonna happen that we can be reactive and stop it from happening. Um, we always have, uh, don't combine fireworks, mm. okay? Don't combine fireworks with alcohol either. It's always a safe tip. Mm -hmm. So, Laura, do you guys see certain injuries more than others? Like, do people get burned more often during 4th of July? Is there anything in particular? We see burns from the yeah. fireworks, but we also see, um, like, traumatic injuries, oh. like loss of uh, fingers and hands from people lighting fireworks yeah. and not either knowing what to do or holding on to them. Yeah. So we need someone who's responsible mm -hmm. and um, other people around them being responsible to prevent some of those injuries from yeah. happening. And what are some ways that some steps we can take to avoid uh, getting any type of injuries like that? Like I said, just having that responsible person, yeah. um, having the water ready in case mm -hmm. something does happen. Mm -hmm. Another thing we see around this time of year is swimming, or it's warm outs, yeah. or everybody's swimming. I encourage you to, if you don't know how to swim, learn how to swim. Mm -hmm. And if you have children, get them used to the water at an early age. Yeah. Invest in swimming classes. And at the very least, teach your children to float. Mm -hmm. Floating takes less energy than anything else, so what we teach kids or try to teach kids is if they get panicked flip over and float yep. because it takes less energy and people can do that usually mm -hmm. yeah and nurse walker tell us um it's been hot mm -hmm. and it's going to be hot again this week for the holiday week what are some ways that we can avoid heat exhaustion well yeah, obviously we're going to keep ourselves hydrated, spend short amounts of time outside, um, stay away from those sugary be beverages or beverages with a lot of alcohol. The two of those together actually dehydrate us. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're keeping water, uh, you know, the types of sports drinks, mm -hmm. uh, keeping those on board. Mm -hmm. Food that contain water, like the watermelon we yeah. all like to eat this time of year, <laughs> and fruits actually have some fluid in them. So. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you guys at Covenant have so many different types of uh, safety classes, and you always tell us about them every time you come in. Tell us if a group or certain individuals want to sign up, how can people get involved with that? They, uh, they just need to reach out to us. Okay. Uh, I have a variety of classes that we offer through our trauma program, and call, uh, including fall prevention, stop the bleed, mm -hmm. distracted driving. And if you see a need in your community, please feel free to reach out to us. All right, perfect. Anything else you want to add? Well, I want to talk about... Um, fires just yes. for a second so we all like to have like a barbecue have yep. uh, or have like s'mores over a fire mm, pit mm -hmm. just realize that those coals will keep hot for 12 hours so that is another type of entry we see in the summer is that you know you had your bonfire last night and it's over with and you went inside and it's out but in the morning kids get curious and they're yep. playing Picking in it up. or they walk through it mm -hmm. and we'll see there so when your bonfire is done for the e evening throw some water on it so those cool those coals cool earlier. That's a good one. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know about that one. It's it's one of those things we see very much in the summer. So yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. I love when you come in. You always give us some great tips. Thank you. Have yes, a great fourth. Yes, you too. All right, so if you would like any additional information on today's topic, just head over to the hot links page of our website, WNEM.com.